I used to make a lot of stick figure games in middle school. These would mostly be turn-based strategy games where you determine the trajectory of your shots, but my friends and I enjoyed them. I even made a little trilogy, where you started by fighting people on boats, then fought on an island, and then in the air with helicopters. All of this is a lot of unneeded words to say that the stick figure war theme is my jam. And oh, what's this? It looks like a game with that exact art style, let's review that! There Will Be Ink is a top-down strategy shooter where you play as little stick figures on a battlefield, trying to take out the bases of your enemies. Let's get the obvious thing out of the way. This setup is perfect. It brings me right back to 7th grade indoor recess and the games we'd make, and with the added bonus of now I don't get in trouble for drawing weapons. On top of this making for great visuals, there's a lot of little touches that go the extra mile in making the game look great. The upgrades are post-it notes, the game map is lined and has a little metal spiral, the teams are distinguished by being drawn with either a black or a blue pen. It all works in selling the idea of a notebook war come to light. The levels themselves honestly look quite nice too. While the use of browns, greens, and watercolor is a bit of a stretch, it's still believable and is really pretty to boot. So how's the gameplay? Well, it's something. There Will Be Ink has three modes, Arcade, Sim, and Hardcore. Sim is the sort of normal mode, and it's a mixed bag. It reminds me of Arma, of all things, or another military sim. You go down almost instantly under fire, firing at full tilt isn't accurate, and your best bet to succeeding is staying prone behind cover and taking your time with your shots. This is pretty fun and feels like the old strategy games I used to make, but there are a few problems. The enemy behavior combined with the fragility of players makes games long and frustrating. The enemies will steadily gather and overwhelm the player, and it's extremely difficult to stop this flow of hostiles without backup. The problem is that the NPCs are as fragile as you are, but don't have quite the same sense to run for cover as you, and aren't particularly helpful. It can often lead to situations where it's kind of clear you're fighting a losing battle, but not quite obvious, so you keep going, but that only makes it more frustrating when you finally do lose. Perhaps I lack the patience, but it really sucks when you spend five or more minutes in a battle only to get swarmed. There's arcade mode though, which I enjoy a lot, although I think it's too easy in some ways. You have more health, weapon spread is static regardless of how much you're moving, and you can run and gun with reckless abandon. On one hand, this is quite fun, and I enjoy playing this way. However, I wish the weapon spread persisted, at least for some weapons. And then there's hardcore mode, no firing cone whatsoever, but seemingly no point to which your shot vanishes. This is alright. The mission design is actually pretty varied, although the levels aren't. You wage standard battles, push to destroy enemy bases, hold out against waves of attackers, and there's even a sniper mission. However, where do these fights take place? A forest with some rocks and maybe a river. The levels themselves are forgettable, although the mission structure can have some highlights. There's also a map maker. We all know how much I like map makers. And I love when games include this stuff, it's just the best thing ever. I am a scientist! This one is fine, and even has a couple options not seen in the game, like cacti and beaches. Still though, I find it a bit lacking. You've got forests, and you can kind of make a beach or a desert, but there's no ability to make a town or a city, no large military bases, no mountain areas. What's there is perfectly fine, I just wish there was more variety in settings. You could even lean into the notebook theme and make the fight take place at and around school notes. There's also a couple quality of life improvements that definitely need to be added. This game is loud, and you can only turn the music on or off. There should be a volume slider for music and general sound effects, the lack of this is noticeable. But overall, There Will Be Ink is a decent game. The aesthetic is my jam, the gameplay is fun, and there's a lot of potential with future updates. If you're nostalgic for stick figure notebook doodles, or want a top-down shooter with a slower, more methodical pace, this is a game I'd recommend.